The dice can be integrated in various ways. The ordered model number reflects the chosen connector configuration, pressure rating, and the material configuration. In this case, we are installing the dice DS in its most simple configuration, which is with one dosing pump and a calibration column. Rigid piping, tubing, including PFA piping, can be used to connect the dice with the pump, components, return line, and the process. Installing the dice can be done in two simple steps. The first step is to mount the dice in place. The dice can be mounted on any kind of support using its three mounting holes. In this case, the dice is mounted on a Peabody shelf. We use the three supplied fasteners to mount the dice on the support. In the presented configuration, the installation requires four connections to be made. A connection to the dosing pump, connection for the tank return line, connection to the calibration column, and connection to the process outlet. The connection of the dosing pump can be done by cutting and installing a flexible tube between the dosing pump outlet and the dice on as shown. In this case, the connections are made up using the supplied furrow connector. The tank return line in our exemplary installation was made using a flexible hose connected to the dice evacuation outlet port and routed back into the chemical tank. The calibration column is mounted and connected directly to the dice using the supplied dice mail NPT connector. The connection to the process outlet line is done using the same flexible tubing and the supplied ferrule connector. Start by installing the supplied dice connectors on the two bottom ports. Then install the dosing pump discharge line and the tank return line using, in our case, the supplied fuel kits. Three fuel connectors are supplied. The ferrule connector can be installed on the hose using the three supplied parts shown in this video. Install the supplied dice connectors on the process outlet port. Then install the calibration cylinder using the supplied dice connector. In our case, we pre-assembled the bottom of the calibration column on the supplied dice mail MPT connector. Connect the process outlet line using the supplied ferrule connector. The dice installation is now complete. The dice DS and DM modules are equipped with three ports on the side that can be used for secondary pumps or additional accessories such as a pulsation dampener, pressure transmitter, etc. In this case, we are installing a secondary pump on one of the auxiliary ports. This is now a duplex system configuration. Additional check valves may also be integrated in the duplex configuration to allow for 100% pump redundancy. To connect the secondary pump, start by removing the cap on the bottom of the auxiliary port. Depending on your installation, 
a variety of connection types can be supplied. In this case, we are installing a Ferrule type hose connector. Install the connecting hose from the secondary pump discharge to the DICE auxiliary port. The secondary pump installation is now complete. The DICE dosing module setup is quick and simple. It consists of two steps. Adjusting the pressure relief valve set point. Adjusting the back pressure valve set point. Start by completely screwing the back pressure valve adjustment screw and closing all three bow valves. Then start the dosing pump and wait until fluid starts flowing through the pressure relief valve. Adjust the pressure relief valve set point using its adjustment screw. In this case, the set point is 100 psi. Adjust the back pressure valve set point by opening the injection outlet ball valve and by unscrewing its adjustment screw. In this case, the set point is 70 psi. Gently torque the counter nut on both the back pressure valve and the pressure relief valve. The back pressure is now set to 70 psi and the pressure relief to 100 psi. The module is now set up and ready to operate. If required, proceed with the pump calibration. Refer to our calibration video for more information.